Imagine if I just scroll down and it's just my face reveal. <laughs> oh. I had a similar video to this in the past where I had five sellers recreate my character in their own art styles. The creativity that we got to see was so inspiring, so I decided to finally make another one but with the Halloween spirit in mind. So, here is what I did. I had my friend create eight different artwork concepts. The only details I mentioned was that they have to be YouTube related in some way, and of course, spooky. I gave them a budget of $500 this time round. Last time we only did $250, so I've got high hopes. Having a friend organize all these artworks would ensure that I haven't seen any of them during any point in the process, and still haven't up until this moment. Very important. The finished art has been compiled into a PDF for me, and we're going to scroll through it together for the very first time today. <coughs> Even though I've done this before and it went well, I've got the same concerns as the first time. I just really hope my money was spent wisely. After I have reviewed them all, I am going to guess how much each of them cost. I was pretty close last time, so fingers crossed I can nail it again this time around. Later in this video, I have something super exciting to reveal to you guys. For now though, it is top secret and I can't wait to show you, so stay tuned. Here is a quick rundown of today's costs. 1095, 1888, 2681, 5060, 5853, 6646, 9518, 190, and 35. This makes a grand total of $517.76. AUD. Okay, a little over budget this time, but I've got hope that these artists have made it worthwhile. Let's begin! Alright, so I've got the file open now and I'm going to be scrolling through page by page to look at all the artworks and I'm super excited. Okay, here we go. Ooh, in the shadows. Digital painting. It's me with a switch! Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cute! Look at my little nose. Oh wait, do you see that? What is that in the background? <laughs> okay, my first impressions of this one, super cute. I just love the whole character design and just, I honestly, I just love seeing like my character in different styles. I just find it so cool. What is this hand reveal? Oh my God, there's feet. <laughs> I better not be on wiki feet now. Look, there's so much I can talk about with this. First, I love the whole nature scene, the little bits of green, yes. I've got to mention it. The switch lighting up my face and like the whole character and the you would not believe your eyes. <laughs> Even though the character's in such a dark place, it kind of gives this cozy feeling. Until you look over here anyway. Very eerie tone and I am extremely happy with how this one turned out. And um, yeah, please don't mind the dogs. Ooh, okay. Next we have pumpkin. Character drawing. Oh my god. Who is that guy? <laughs> This one is so cool with all the bright colors and everything and I definitely didn't expect this one at all. If anyone doesn't recognize this, um, this character is from a past spooky video. This guy, yeah, we don't talk about him. But except for right now because he has had a glow up. When I first saw the title, I didn't expect something so bright and colorful, but I really think it works. Just look at this little guy with his little brains out. There is something so morbid about a pumpkin character carving his own pumpkin. It's the spooky season, so I'll excuse this behavior. Okay, so we have Skelly Jess. I actually really like that name. I think that suits for my name for all of October. Actually, you know what? We are scrolling. <laughs> Oh my god! That is so cute but so terrifying at the same time! Oh! I just want to say I am in love with this art style. It's kind of giving Cuphead and like retro sort of vibes. But um, I like how the only bit of color are the little leaves and my tongue. The half skeleton design in this is really cool as well. It kind of just makes you think a little bit. Well, it did for me. There's another hand reveal but like not hand reveal, you know? And then we got the dogs. Again, it mostly uses solid colors, but through all the gradients and the shadows, I think that's what pulls it all together and makes it feel complete. They chose to keep the hair on the skeleton side. I think that's a very good call. They've also added in a nose, but not because it's not there. <laughs> I absolutely adore this one. 
Actually, you know what? This artwork needs to be out there more. That's why for a limited time, you can get your very own Skelly Jess t-shirts and hoodies on my Crowdmade store. They come in a variety of colors and just look, mwah, chef's kiss. This is one of my favorite holiday designs ever and won't be here forever, so be sure to grab one while you can. Links are below in the pinned comment and video description. Now we have Jelly Monster. Told the artist to draw a jelly monster, whatever that meant to them. This could be interesting. Oh my god, that is terrifying, but kind of cute. Okay, the eyes are just staring into my soul, and um, I feel like this guy, if I saw him in real life, would just eat me in one bite. Maybe two bites because there's two mouths. The artist was a lot more creative than what I would have been when I thought of a jelly monster. I also love how they did two layers for the mouth, not just one. I feel like it kind of gives more of a creepier vibe. Also, the red eyes. Oh, it's just like smoky and eerie and just ooh. Okay, now we have a wobbly kaiju. A character drawing. Again, sounds interesting. Oh my god! It's so cute! Oh, he's blushing like he's nervous! <laughs> Oh my god, he's causing so much chaos and I don't think he knows it. Look, I feel sorry for the little people. Like, they're having such a horrible time and this guy's just existing. <laughs> he's pulling my heartstrings, this guy. Like, I feel like he is the type of character that would use the two hand emojis. Now let's talk about the art style. It's got some sort of pop art feel about it. I think that's given through the solid colors and the gradient sort of shading, as well as the halftone texture applied to it. I think it's a really suitable style for an artwork like this, and I just can't stop zooming in and looking through all the little details in this. Just look at the panic in these people's faces, and then look at him. Look at this tablet. This could be yours. The amazing people over at Gammon have once again said to be an art tablet to test and review, which I then want to give away to one of you guys. I'll tell you a little about it first before I let you know how this could become yours. Ta -da! This is a PD2200, a 21.5 inch drawing tablet with a fully laminated HD screen, perfect for animation and illustration. There's eight customizable keys on the side here, which are perfect for creative shorts cuts and optimizing workflow. This device is big. There's so much screen space to utilize here, which would make drawing and animating an absolute dream. The adjustable stand is very important for drawing on a large pen display and works great. Its range is very wide from 15 to 85 degrees. It also comes with the instruction manual, some cables, the pen and the pen holder, and of course the smudge glove. It's very comfortable to draw with the tablet and the pen is completely bad battery free, meaning that you will never have to charge it before use. With 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, you can achieve such precise lines with it too. Wowie, that is some fine art right there, good sir. I'm a big fan of Gammon products if you haven't noticed already, and I recommend them to artists of all skill levels. This tablet is on sale right now, so check out the links in the description if you want to purchase one for yourself while they're still discounted. If you want to take your chances on the giveaway, however, keep watching. Since it's such a big giveaway this time around, I've organized a treasure hunt. Somewhere in my past videos, the word hello is cleverly hidden within a scene. If you think you found it, DM me a screenshot on either Twitter or Instagram, and the first person who guesses correctly will win this tablet, which I'll ship anywhere in the world to get it to you. To help you find it, here's a riddle. Intruder alert, intruder alert. I check my file for info, but all it does is divert. A pledge of money, a cunning bunny, and a jelly almost hurt. The monster's a skeleton who yearns to fight. His treasure left in the open, visible in plain sight. But weary of his wrath, though his weapon's not to fear. It's not an axe, but don't relax, it's something more severe. He will approach his prey in the dead of night, and when you least expect it, he'll take a part of you with a mega bite. I couldn't resist making this spooky theme too. So remember, you need to find the word hello, which is hidden on screen somewhere in a past video. Could be one of my recent videos. Could be my first ever video. Who knows how long I've been preparing for this. As time passes and if nobody has found it, I'll be releasing more hints on my Twitter and Instagram stories 
so make sure you're following those if you want to catch them. A big thanks goes to Gammon for giving me the opportunity to give back to you guys like this, so please check out their links below. IRL told the artist to draw a caricature of what they think you look like in real life based on your character design. This could be the scariest one out of all of them, especially if it looks like me. Imagine if I just scroll down and it's just my face reveal, <laughs> like every detail to a T. <sighs> I'm nervous, but here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of May from Overwatch. Damn, okay. I can say this is not what I look like in real life. But she's cute. She's got like a very button nose and like she looks nice. I would want to be her friend. <laughs> I can definitely see how my character influenced the hair here, especially right here. The artwork itself is incredible. Like it looks like a traditional drawing not done on a computer. Just look at all the little details in every single line. I really like the idea of this. Like imagine if I gave five different artists this same project and just see what happens. If you guys would like to see me attempt this, in a future video just let me know could be a lot of fun monkey business a book cover illustration that's different <laughs> oh my god goosebumps oh monkey this literally looks like a book sorry i'm like fangirling over goosebumps at the moment <laughs> like if you put this next to these it looks like it belongs Oh my god, I just realized what it was. I was so confused about where monkey business came from. But it's the beanie boo. <laughs> it's a beanie boo from that video. I think it was the grocery video. Stop it. I think it was the blue on the tail that made me realize that. This little tiny pathetic beanie boo has been adapted so well where it just looks absolutely scary terrifying scary all of the above this artist has done an amazing job jj slime i see what you did there the shining parody the iconic here's johnny <laughs> i sorry i cringe <laughs> parody the iconic here's johnny scene oh my god <laughs> oh he's so cute but like oh there's an axe this is terrifying, but cute as well. I love what these artists are doing. I love the illustration style for this. It is absolutely adorable. Apparently the artist was only asked to draw the image on the right, but they went ahead and drew the left just to complete the meme. And I really appreciate that. Also the little hands on the jelly holding the knife. It's so cute. Once again, I'm blown away by all the talent I've witnessed today. All the artists have created something so unique and fitting for this video, and even though we were over budget, it was all worth it. They all have their own style and vibe, and are all fantastic in their own right. Speaking of budget though, let's try and guess where each one of these fit in. Okay, just looking at all of these, this is gonna be very hard. I'm just gonna put it out there, and I'm gonna say the Goosebumps cover is gonna be the most expensive. Let's go the skeleton jelly look i've got a lot of options i'm gonna put her maybe at the 66 mark let's try for a bottom one here i think possibly maybe the here's jolly jess version uh 10 18 10 oh. i'm gonna put 10 here and then 18 might be the pumpkin the big scary scary monster guy I'm going to put him at $95. Oh no, I forgot about this one. Oh, the dark scene one. I forgot about that one. Maybe I'm going to put that one at 66 and I'm going to move the skeleton to 58. And now I'm just left with the realistic version of me that doesn't look like me. And the jelly monster. Realistic version at $50 and jelly monster at $26.81. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to lock those in and just hope for the best. I've listed the contributing artists in the description below, so if you'd like to have some awesome artwork made, you know where to find them. 